a class you can just read for too long to type it out and explain um, that way. Alright, so the next function is very, very, very similar to the server as well with some minor differences. Um, your for loop is exactly the same. You receive the packets, deallocate the packets, receive them again, whatever, keep going. Then you get the packet identifier, which is this function, which is exactly the same as the server. No difference whatsoever. And then you have a, a switch case, which is the same again. The difference is that a client will have different reactions. For example, if a client sends to a server, hey, I moved one meter, the server will have to first um, act, uh, it'll get that information and it'll go, okay, I'm going to move that person one meter on the server. Then the server is going to then send that out, that information out to all the clients. So a client will only do the receiving and actioning part. The client will receive from the server, say, okay, I'm going to move this person one more. That's it. It doesn't send any information out after that. So that's how it's different. You'll see that a bit later. So all the, the responses in here will be different. Also, there's different things that um, happen like ID already connected. Actually, I'm not sure. But there's some of these default ones that you don't need for a client. It doesn't really matter though. Just copy what I've got here, that'll be enough. And we'll get into doing some actual cases like spawning players. The default is used for sending text messages. That's how I found it to be useful. All right, so let's go down from there. I'm not gonna explain that whole thing again because it's I've explained it in detail in the server tutorial. So go have a look. Uh, get packet identifiers, I explained that earlier, and in the server tutorial. Now the last one, the final one, actually, let's do this first. We want to receive our packets every loop. Client, receive packets, excellent. The last one is to shut down the client. This works the same way as the server once again. Um, terminate, uh, client. Shut down. Shut down. That's what you do in Gridiron. Not that I would know. Um, okay. I think we're happy. I think we're all good to go. Shall we cross our fingers and see if this works? How much time do I have left? Oh dear, I've gone over time. Who cares? Um, let's just save that. And see how many errors I get when I start this baby up. Oh, of course. Three errors. For the sake of time and the limitedness of YouTube videos, I'm going to pause it while I fix it. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Um, basically, Mr. Colon, stupid. Man, I can be dumb sometimes. And of course, I need to delete these because we don't need them yet. And they're not defined in client.h. Alright, save, play. Now, because there's no, okay, you see now I got this um, alert here saying uh, firewall blocking. That proves to me that the network has started. And, okay, so I'll allow that. And you'll see I haven't started a server, so connection attempt failed. So we, that's just because there's no server to connect to. So it's worked. Now let's just test it with the server that we did last time. I'm going to close this. Uh, tutorial server. Okay, so we've started our server. We get that. Good, it's working. It's running. I'm a server. Hmm. Should blend the alpha. Oh well. And let's start a tutorial. Yay. Okay, look. Now you see this time it doesn't say connection attempt failed. It says your connection has been accepted to 127.0.0.1 port 6001 with GUI ID blah 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 blah. <laughs> On the server's one, it will say if it's worked properly, which it has, it will say, okay, this one's the server. Okay, it won't say anything. There's a reason for this. 
and I'm just going to go and show you on the server quickly. It has worked, but I've just f forgotten to put in a print screen on the server. So let's go to our server just quickly, just quickly. Settle down now. Um, if you navigate to server.cpp, in the receive packets, I think I have accidentally deleted something. Uh, connection attempt failed. Remote new incoming connection. No free incoming connection. Oh my goodness. I think... Okay, ID new incoming connection. See, I've accidentally um, forgot to deleted this print f this is just for debugging i mean really id new incoming connection so when it gets a new incoming connection it'll receive a packet saying new incoming connection and then it'll print it that'll prove to us that it's worked now let's test it so i was just fixing up the server there don't get confused now just fixing up the server um all right let's open these up server first of course Ideally, you'd have a button that says connect and then you'd get it to connect. You wouldn't just get it to connect straight off the bat. But for this tutorial purposes, that's what we're going to do. So I said so. All right. Server. Server's up. Client. Okay, your connection has been accepted. What the flop? Huh, huh. I'll be back. Alrighty, very sorry. I'd made a stupid mistake as I always do. <laughs> okay, so basically what I did is I forgot to build. Most of you are probably thinking, yeah, I saw you do that, idiot. But uh, it's right, it works now. <laughs> I just forgot to build. I saved it without building it. So here we have the server. I'll put this panel up here. And we have the client. Oh, look. Suckers, new ID, new incoming connection. So it received it, it went to the right place. And attention, uh, attention, connection has been accepted. Okay, now just a reminder, this 127.0.0.1 is the IP address for the server that you must use if you are testing it on your own computer. So it's like networking with yourself. You have to use that IP. If you on a LAN, then it would change. Then you would use a different IP, but yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed these tutorials. I hope they're useful. In the next tutorial, we'll start getting into some action. We'll start spawning like a box <laughs> as a player because don't have enough assets. But that's fine. It's the concept that matters, and that'll be fun. Um, and we'll start getting into some fun stuff, but I hope this has been useful.